So I'm here with Kenny McNamara, and what I want to show you today is there's been a bit of discussion about the, the bearings, uh, the thrust bearing in the back of the, the Camaro. So we've got some examples here, and so we'll get Ken to take us through. So this is the original one, which you can see um, is fine, um, but Ken, it was getting a bit too much wear, wasn't it? Yeah, so if you look at the, the, the old type bearings with have a coating on them, yeah, the back side of the thrust bearing is quite good. You flip it around the other side, you see bits of uh, bronze ripped out of the thrust bearing everywhere, which we would see in the oil filters, and it is what you had at Bathurst last year when we, that engine failed with that coming off, and then we had we um, blocked the filter. So, Correct. so then we tried some testing some bearings um, early this year, and these are out of Bryce's car. So they're a three-piece bearing, which you know some of the NASCAR guys use to to eliminate, and it's got a wider surface area than that bearing, and a different material. So as you can see, there's no there's no pitting, everything's quite good. The and we, we did the original testing with that in Bryce's yeah. car, and how many cases? The, they've done 4,000, so we, 4, took, we took them out last week. And it's still fine. It's still fine. So then this, these ones here are out of, out of Macaulay's car, and did one race, and you can see it break the tanks, and then the bearing would fall out, and then that would fall down. Um, most of them just stayed up in, in the crankshaft and didn't go anywhere, so that's why they still had in float. Um, but as you see, the bearing itself looks good, but there's, there's an issue with the ratcheting that the bearing sh breaks and then they just fall out. So not strong enough. We had two cars, one of, I think, Percats did 2000 Ks. So then on Brody's car, once that bearing fell out and then fell into the sump, the flywheel moved forward and hit the timing cover. As you can see, it shredded the timing cover, which saved inside of the engine because the crankshaft couldn't go forward. Yep. And then every time he put his foot on the clutch, he said the motor would stop because the flywheel was welding itself to the back. So. So we replaced all that and, and got him going again. And, and this is the, what the real problem here is, is the starts, isn't it? The Correct. load that the, the guys are putting on them at the start. So you'll continue to look around and see if you can find, we thought we'd solve the problem a bit yep. with this bearing, but not quite there yet. So still a little bit of work to do, but this is the sort of development that we have ongoing with supercars in the cars to just make it a better package. Hmm. Yeah, and that's the thing, like we found the clutches are a little bit harder compound this year, so they're pushing more forward thrusting on the crankshaft. So we, we've tried all grooves, we've tried a lot of things to help it, but it's, yeah, it's just that they get on that line locker and, and hold her at 7,500 and then and the poor old thrust bearing's really doing it tough. And, and Ford probably not in the same, uh, having the same amount of trouble as we have, but it's an issue Similar issues, well, correct, yeah. It? It's, it's nothing, the old engine used to do it, but they were different, the rear main was on the back of the block, cast iron block, so aluminum block now, so there are differences, but Yes, it's, it's an issue where we're standing start racing, you don't see that. Yeah, okay. So thanks everyone, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll talk to you again in a week.